Hey guys, this is Carrie from Artstitution, and today I am going to do a, 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 a tutorial on how to paint this uh, simple unicorn. Um, so I had a re request uh, for a simple unicorn for kids that are um, under the age of five. So um, it's hard for kids that young to sit still for this long and kind of go step by step, but you know what? We'll give it a shot and um, I'll try to make this as simple as possible. Um, parents, you might have to help them uh, mix a little bit, um, but for the most part, I'm gonna break this down into simplest forms. So kids, um, what we're gonna do first is we are going to actually create this unicorn out of shapes. So if you know your circles and your, your triangles, then we are good to go. Um, for this painting, I'm just going to use this small flat brush. It's called a flat brush because it's flat on top. And I'm going to use um, this small round brush. And it's round because it's called a round brush because it's round on top. I have a paper plate for all my mixing. Um, I put all of my paint colors in my, um, my little egg carton. I did not use green for this. But if you want to use green for this, you know, pour yourself some green. I have a napkin and some clean water, so we're gonna wash our brushes off. It's really important to keep your brush nice and clean and keep it in the water when you're not using it because if it dries, the paint dries on your brush, your brush gets ruined and you can't use it anymore. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw out this um, unicorn. So I'm gonna actually have you guys mix a gray. So all gray is is black and white mixed together, but you want to start with white first. And I know you guys know your colors, so pick out the white, and I want you to take two scoops, nice big fat scoops of white, and put it on your plate. Then I want you to dip your brush into the edge of the black, and you only need a tiny bit of black. Only the tiniest bit of black is gonna turn this pile into gray, into a gray color, okay? So parents, you only need a very light gray. My gray is gonna be a little bit darker so you guys can see it, but you need just a nice light gray. All right. So I added way too much black, so I want a nice light gray, okay? So once you get a nice gray, so we all have different grays, and that's okay. I just don't want you to have dark gray, so we wanna make sure we have nice, light gray. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make a big circle in the kind of like up towards the top part, top right part of your canvas, okay? Now, this circle is gonna have a triangle coming out of it. So the you're gonna have a long skinny triangle coming out over here, okay? So it almost looks like a snowman looking up, right? To me, that's what it looks like anyway. Okay, so once you have this, you are going to draw a line, just not all the way to the end of the paper, just about here. And once you get to this bottom, you're gonna put another circle, but a small one. So it looks like a pair of goofy glasses, right? Ah! Then you're gonna connect these circles like that. Okay. Cool, right? So now it sort of looks like a unicorn but we have to get the other ear in here. So you're just gonna put a tiny little triangle up here. So you have a tiny triangle and then a big triangle. Long and skinny triangle here, and then a short triangle, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we are going to paint all this in with this gray color. So the thing is you don't wanna have really thick paint. I want you to really spread that paint out spread it out really thin because we want this paint to be dry by the time we come back to it. So, 
Plus we want to do the hair, so we want this paint to be dry. Um, so this paint that we're using is actually called acrylic paint. And the reason why it's really good to use um, for these painting lessons is because it dries really fast. Just so long as you keep it nice and thin, it'll dry really fast. So really spread that paint out. You don't want any pools anywhere. Pools of paint. Spread it out. So I even want you to do the unicorn horn gray too. Okay. Don't worry about the hair. Don't worry about any of that stuff yet. We're going to do all that. Just make sure, even if you, when you're done, just go right over it. Make sure it's all spread out. Then. Then you're going to do the unicorn horn. So there's all ages doing this. So if there's any parts that really little ones can't sit through, then moms, you know, dads, grandma, grandpa, whoever's with your child, just, you know, let them do their thing. You know, they have a vision and it might not be our vision, but they have a vision so once you do that, I want you to, this is our first time, we're gonna wash our brush off. So I like to like boop, 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 kind of bang it at that bottom of the cup. So water loves to get stuck in this metal part and we don't want any drippy drips. So I want you to wash and dry that brush off really, 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 really good. So dry it off really good, okay? Okay. Once you have it super dry, now we're gonna make this turquoise color. So, I'm gonna make this turquoise color, but it doesn't mean you have to use a turquoise, okay? If you want it to be a different color, if you want the hair to be a different color, that is totally fine. I'm gonna do the turquoise. So what turquoise is, is blue mixed with yellow. So I'm gonna just take some blue, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow in with it. Now, it, it's so, see how dark it is? I'm gonna mix some white in with that too. So you'll be, you'll be able to see the, what color you have better when you have white. See that turquoise? So there's about 50 gazillion shades of turquoise. So I want you to get, if you're doing turquoise, I want you to get to a shade that you like, okay? Mine has a little bit more yellow in it. And also a little bit more white. So I'm making mine like super, light. All right, it's like a sea foam color. Okay, so once you get your color, I want you to slowly, with very thin strokes, paint around your unicorn. So you, we're actually biding time until we, we want the middle to dry. So I want you to really take your time. Spread it out because we want the background to be dry too. So we're going to hop from like the unicorn to the background to the unicorn to the background. And these are tiny canvases, so the drying time is a lot less. Okay. The biggest thing about painting is they want to really take your time. If you use a lot of paint, it gets harder because you it's hard to paint on top of it because it takes so long to dry. I know that the horse has no, the unicorn has no neck, but that's because we're gonna just put hair around there. So if you even wanna move your, your um, canvas around, you can do that. So I like to make my, my um, unicorn horn have like little, very small bumps on it. Just to make it 
you know the, par the parts where it's like twisty but you don't have to do that if you don't want to what's cool about these paintings is that we're all following the same direction but everybody's looks different and that's what's so totally awesome about these things these painting videos when we paint live I love at the end when everybody shows each other's their paintings. Okay. So you could use your favorite colors for these. Just definitely, none of my paintings have to be the color. You don't have to ever use the colors I'm using. And I know lots of times when you paint, especially when you're little, you usually just use paint right out of the tube. So mixing, mixing is new for a lot of young people, but mixing is so fun because even just out of the colors that we have, you can make a million colors. So cool. So you guys can make yourself comfortable by putting music on. I know a lot of people like to listen to music when they paint. I do too. Just take your time. The biggest thing in art is to take your time. Try not to get frustrated. But everybody gets frustrated. Even grown-ups. Trust me. So I like to do the edges because then when you put it, when you hang it up, it looks really nice. You don't need to put a frame around it. So now we have a floating head of a horse, a unicorn. So we're going to be doing two coats on a lot of these things. So if your child is really little and you're doing this with them, and, and you know, a lot of times they don't understand the concept of two coats, and I don't blame them. I don't think I did either. I mean, I know I did. So they don't have to do that. But if there's bigger kids doing this on their own, um, definitely take the time to do the two coats. Okay. See how it's nice and thin, so it should be dry um, very soon. Okay, here's the part we're going to do another um, coat because I want the background to dry. So we're going to wash that brush, clean it really good. You can, parents can fast forward this part if your child's really little just fast forward they don't need to do two coats unless you unless they're totally into it then cool so also on your second coat if you want to adjust some things you absolutely can if you want to the thing about horses and you know um, Unicorns are obviously in the horse family. They have this jaw bone here. Kind of goes down. If you feel your jaw here, horses have that jaw bone. It's okay if the blue background's coming through. Absolutely. So here is where I'm going to put a little bit of a divot out here for the mouth. So don't, you don't have to go crazy painting up here because the hair is going to be up there. So just kind of, you can just paint like up to there. That should be fine. Don't forget this, though. The unicorn horn. Okay. 
And you don't have to make it bumpy if you don't want to. Absolutely not. We're going to make it look bumpy later. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. So if you want yours a little bit bigger, now is the time to do it. It does absolutely does not matter if, if the blue from the background comes through a little bit. Absolutely does not matter. And then just do the ear and you are good to go. So you're going to do a quick coat on the background. I'm totally out of paint, so i got to mix some more. Even if you don't mix this, if you ran out of paint and you have to mix more, if you don't mix the same color, it is totally fine. I'm just going to use it. Okay, so remember, keep it really thin. Again, all this hair is going to be here, so don't even bother doing a second coat over here. You just need the second coat over here. All right, again, if you want to move your canvas, move it. Don't forget the edges. I definitely find that moving my canvas helps a lot in getting like into the little spots that I can't reach. I'd say whatever color you guys choose for your background, I always, I always like to add a little bit of white into it because it it's, makes it nice and milky and it covers a lot better. And if you get frustrated, just, you know, you can go walk away and come back. It's okay to get frustrated, especially if it's something new that you're doing. Because the paintings we do aren't super super easy there all my all our paintings are challenging because we want people to be challenged when you're challenged and you do it you feel really good about yourself you, you did it you know because when you started this you had all white canvas and now your canvas is not white anymore so you're making something out of nothing which is pretty darn cool Last thing I'm going to do is just a little bit above the ear here. Up here in the corner. Again, you don't have to worry about all this spot, these spots. But we are going to let this dry a bit before we get into doing the hair. So, again, I'd rather you do two really thin coats so it's dry rather than like one really thick coat that won't, that will take an hour to dry. Okay, so now we have two thin coats. So this should be dry in about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting, we're actually gonna go back into the unicorn. Oh, sorry, I hit my head. I'm gonna move this a little. There you go, there's a glare, so can't really see it. So wash your brush off good, dry it off really good. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take just pure white paint. And because I did a painting before this, mine's all gross. So I'm going to give myself some new paint. Okay, so I want you to take a little bit of that white paint and mix it in with your gray that you had. So I want, that, I want you to have a little bit of a lighter color. See how I did that? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start 
Now remember, this is gonna be a lighter gray than we have just by adding a little bit of white. We're just gonna start by making these kind of twirlies. And what I want you to do is I want you to just take this middle brush and I want you to make, see how I'm making, on an angle, I'm making these swirls. So keep some, some of that darker color in the middle. All you're doing is making like stripes. All that is, all they are stripes. You might want to switch your brush to the smaller one. I'm being super lazy, but you could always switch your brush. See how I'm doing that? Then I want you to come to the ear. And I want you to use that lighter color and just go on the outside of edge of it. Okay, you guys see that? So, we're gonna make the I here, but you're gonna make an L, okay? So the L is gonna look like this, okay? I want you to make an L, and I want you to make a line that attaches the two, and I want you to paint that in. Okay? Now, I want you to come to this part of the horse's head. This is the front of his nose and you're gonna just do some brush jokes on there. All right? Now, he's, there's gonna be a nose here, and we're gonna do that later, but for now, you're just gonna make a half circle. See? It's like a backward C. And see where we made the mouth here? You're just gonna put a line here, and where we put the jaw, you're just gonna put some white there. Okay, here's the jaw. All right, cool. This looks good. So, let's see, do we have everything? Yeah, I think so. I think we're ready to do some colors for the hair. All right, so what I did was pink, purple, and yellow. All right. So I'm gonna let the stuff dry a little bit, so I'm gonna start with the pink. So remember how I said you st always start with the lighter color? So if you're making pink, actually I don't think I said that yet, I was painting before this one. So if you have a, if you have a color that you're mixing like pink, you always wanna start with white and you wanna add a tiny bit of red at a time because it only takes a tiny bit of red to turn white into pink. So watch, I have that much white, watch what happens. If I'm using just a teeny tiny bit of red, it turns pink. Okay, so you could always add more. So add tiny bits of red at a time until you see a pink that you like, okay? And it doesn't matter what pink I have. What matters is the pink is what you want, okay? So this is about you. I like to add a little bit of um, yellow into my pink but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So so I think, I think I like this pink, so I'm gonna go with this pink. So you can either switch your brush to the little one if you want. I'm gonna keep the big one. So I'm gonna start by, so remember the eye is there, okay? And I'm gonna start by putting some hair around the eye. If you, if you can't really see your eye, don't worry, we'll, we'll go back with it lighter. So all I'm gonna do is put some hair here. Don't drive yourself nuts over it. it. If you could see the blue through it, don't worry about that. But I want it to be thin. So you're gonna come back here and you're gonna do some hair here. But I'm just gonna do that, okay? That's all I'm doing for that right now. Then I'm gonna see the back of the ear. I'm gonna start making Like a squiggly line. And we're gonna make all the hair kind of go into each other. But for now, we're just making a, a squiggly line. You don't have to make it, you can make it choppy. You don't have to make it perfect. And then I think I'm gonna put more down here, up here, I'm sorry, up here. It doesn't really matter where it goes because we're gonna have so many other colors, but still try to keep it thin. I 
can chop it up a little bit, make it choppy. Even if you kind of take your paintbrush and make it smooth it out. Don't worry about the, the other parts of the, the horse right now. None of that matters right now. We're working on the hair. So just make sure it's thin so we can go back with another coat. And you don't have to do yours where mine are at all, okay? Just because I do something doesn't mean you have to do the same thing. So I'm going to do purple now. So purple is blue and red. So you could put the same amount of blue as red, or you could put a little bit more red or a little bit more blue. There's a lot of different, different types of purple. But when you do that, if you put like one scoop of red and one scoop of blue, you're going to get this dark, dark, dark color. So we're going to bring some white into that. So white is just going to make it lighter. And that's what I want. I want it to match my pink, the, the lightness of the pink. So I'm going to see how it matches all my, the rest of my colors. So once you have that, I'm going to put it next to my pink. So my, I'm going to wash my brush off because it's super gooey. Super gooey. All right. So I am going to put it next to this. And I'm going to make it really choppy because I want it to like, I want all my hair to see how it's all blending together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that later. But for now, I'm gonna start thinking about it by putting like, I'm holding my my paint, my paint paintbrush, like I'm gonna flatten it like this, whoop, whoop, and hold it up and down like this. And it makes, it, you can make like cool little streaks. But you still want it super thin. So pretend like you're brushing the hair. As you go down, you're brushing the hair with your brush, with your paintbrush. Okay, nice and soft. As we go here, I I just, ooh, I used way too much paint there. I kind of mixed some pink and purple together here because I thought it looked cool. Don't feel like you have to do the, anything I do. But that's what I did. And we're going to go back with pink, so don't worry about it. if it's not mixing perfectly the first time. Don't worry about it. Stop at the ear up here. It kind of looks like cotton candy. Then I put, I put a little bit of purple in here. And again, don't worry because we're going to go back with the pink, so we're going to mix that up a little bit more. And I put some more purple back here. And I saved some room for yellow. But again, I have it I'm brushing it. You're going to use that paintbrush to brush that hair. Just blending the colors together. And brush that hair. Okay, when you're happy with it, you're gonna wash your brush. And then we're gonna do some yellow. Then we're gonna work on the face for a little bit and we're gonna let that all dry. Then we're gonna go on round two. We're not gonna add the black till the very end, okay? Because you don't wanna make it smudged. So I'm gonna take yellow and I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to it, just a little bit. So I recommend that any any children under five, def, actually under seven really, should be a, um, with a parent, just so until they get used to the way we do this. Um, but I mean, there's some kids who totally can do it on their own. So I don't want to. I don't really want to say. I don't want to give any kind of age caps on anything. But you know your own children, so usually. We, we tell people like five, seven, I'm sorry, seven and uh, younger to have an adult when we're painting live. 
All right, so this is my first coat of yellow, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda overlap the pink a little bit, because I want all the hair to be like, to get like all kind of woven in and together. And in this space, I'm gonna put some yellow. Don't worry if, it's, if you can see through it. We're gonna go over it one more time after this. Okay. Again, I like to use it flat, flat this way. So I can kind of overlap the other two colors that I just did. And don't worry if, if you're like, oh man, I just covered up all the pink, I want more pink. We're gonna do that later, so don't. Don't ever worry. This paint's awesome because it dries super fast. And I put some back here. Woo! The key really is just keeping your brush keeping the paint really thin. All right, then I put a streak of yellow coming up like that. But if you have something, a better idea, then I want you to do that. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Really wash that brush off really good. So what we're going to do now is remember the light gray? I want you to, I need to put even, make mine even lighter, okay? Because you can't see mine at all. So I'm just going to go back with my light gray. If you, if you could see yours, then good. Mine, you can't see. So I'm going to, remember that L shape we did? If you can't see yours, because sometimes when it dries, you can't really see it as much. I'm going to put, put it up here. I'm just gonna go over it real quick so you can see it. Remember I put some on the top of the nose here. Now I hope this doesn't dry and it, you can't see it because that'll just make me frustrated. Okay, so I put some on the bottom of there. All right, that should be good for now. I think that's, that should suffice. Okay, cool. So, what I want you to do now, we're still gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit. So we're gonna lighten up the background color. Remember how I said all you have to do is add a little bit of white? So add some white to that background color. We're actually biding some time right now because we're letting the hair dry a little bit more. So you just want that background color to be nice and light, okay? And we're just gonna put, you can use the tiny brush if you want. We're just gonna put some, I call these accent lines. It just makes it look cool at the end. And of course you can skip this you don't have to do this. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more magical. And again, try not to do any black until we're done, okay? And my horse is a little bit darker than that, and you can see that it doesn't matter. It's all, it's all okay. So we're gonna go back to the hair, but we're gonna start with the pink. Now, if you don't have any pink left, like me, I'm gonna mix some real quick, and it does, definitely does not have to be the same color. If it's a little off, it's totally fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pink, remember that? And we're gonna do another coat. Ex we're gonna to try to go in the same order as we did. And here's really where I want you to use that brush, see how much it 
it covers the second time around, I really want you to use that brush like you're brushing the hair. So I want you to put some streaks in over the top of the yellow. So when you go to the yellow, you're gonna do that too. You're gonna do some streaks on top of the pink. Okay, so you're gonna do some on top of the purple. That's what makes it look like hair. Now, little, little ones aren't gonna sit and do this. I mean, maybe some will, but, um, you know, typically a, ki a child under five probably wouldn't have the patience to do this. So they could just let them just go to town for whatever way they want. Whenever I do a, a unicorn one, I usually have people ranging from like little tiny, tiny kids to adults. So I'm gonna try to make it for everybody. So you're gonna come back here and you're gonna not, not totally get rid of all the purple, but just overlap the purple and you're gonna take, you're gonna come back to the purple and overlap too. Same thing up here. And you just, you kind of like go from color, color to color and till it's the way you want it. So now I'm going to go back to the purple. I happen to have a lot of purple, so I'm going to go back to the purple. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to overlap. See how cool that looks? Overlap here. Then you're going to go, which, wherever you put purple, you're going to do the same thing. Overlap. And the same thing up here. I love this cotton candy swoosh. And then when you're done with that, you're finally gonna go to the yellow. Which I'm out of too. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and put, just add a little bit of white, just to make it a little less transparent. And I'm gonna start here in the, the one I started with. And yellow is a little harder to cover, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you a cool thing we're gonna do after this. So you see I'm going back on top of the pink with the yellow. So the next step, again, really little ones, probably don't have the patience for it, but you could try. Who am I to say who has patience for what? really want to get those overlapping colors. Takes a little getting used to. Sometimes you gotta pick it up to get them. All right, I'm almost done. We are almost done. So, as you can see, black is last. But it's also what makes it look so cool at the end, so. And I get that you wanna rush to it, so we're just gonna give this a little bit more time to dry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some white to all this. So, if you add a little bit of white to your pink, again, the little, little ones can skip this. If you add a little bit of white to your pink and you go back in here with your little brush or if you use this brush, you can use it like this way and you just put highlights of the lighter pink. Just hairs, see? Same thing over here, just hairs. I 
things look really cool. Okay, and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other two colors. So purple, you just add a little bit of white, make it lighter. Then you'd go into here and you'd add just a little bit of light. And it's really up to you how much of that light you want to do. Okay, same thing with the yellow. Add some white. And you do the same thing. So as you can see, my colors are different. They're not exactly like that. And that's, it all, it works out no matter what. You know, does your colors absolutely do not have to match mine. Because my, my own colors don't match mine. So, it, and that's okay. That's what we want, actually. Because we want them to be different. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So, now we are going to take straight up white. Make sure your, your brush is dry and clean. And you don't need a lot of paint here, you're just a little bit. And you're just gonna go in the, in the middle here with this middle brush. You're gonna go boop, 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 boop. See, just down the middle. Then you are going to, you're just going to take some white back into the eye, make the L, and I just want you to brush like you're, like you're brushing some eyeshadow on. So when you get to here, you're going to brush some white up there. Ooh, I've dropped my brush. Not good. Okay. Brush some white, just a little bit of white here, a little bit of white here. Okay. So here's where it might get a tiny bit tricky. So pretend like we're going to have a smile here, and you're going to do, you're going to put some white here. So it's like almost like you're putting the smile there for now. And then we're going to go back with black. Okay. Now we're gonna do black at the very end. So now you're gonna take this tiny brush. I, I like to swirl it on my plate like this. Just give yourself some room. Now I don't like to outline the whole entire thing, but we'll start with this nostril. So I want you to make a circle here, and then you're gonna paint in the circle. And again, if you feel like you want to move this, move it. See, it helps me with my circle when I move it and turn it upside down. Okay. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You can flatten it like this and use it sharp like that, or you can twist it. I like to flatten it. And I also like to use my pinky as a kickstand. So, if you want to kind of make the bumps, woo. and I don't like to go, I don't like to go around the whole, everything. I just like to kind of go over some parts. And I don't, I don't like to, it to be perfect. I like it when it looks like a little bit choppy. So, what you're going to do here is you're just going to put 
go in the same direction as those swirls that you did. See how I did that? Yeah, I like to go to the other side. See, I don't like to go all the way through. I just kind of got go to the other side. But you can do it whatever way you want. Another cool trick is to use your pinky as a kickstand. That's what I like to do. So I like to see how it's like a kickstand. And also make sure that you it's in a place where you could reach. So I'm going to come down. And I'm going to show you some tricks if you mess up the black or you feel like you messed up the black. So when you get to the bottom here, here's where we're going to make the smile. So see how we have the chin here? We have the chin coming down here and then it comes up like this and goes like that. The smile is going to just come right up here. Right. Sometimes you got to re-dip. So even if you decide that you want to make your unicorn purple, it doesn't have to be gray or white or anything like it could do, be any any color you want. And I, I know I did not outline all the hair. I'll show you what I did. So I just kind of, I took swooshes and I kind of just outlined some swooshes. But just, if you use your pinky, just make sure you don't stick it in like the black or any color that you were using. I mean, I do that all the time. And everything's fixable. I assure you. And especially like, now that we're doing black, I'd say that if there's anything you wanna fix at the end, you could wait until it dries and then go back in it. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to all you're going to do is outline the L, and then I want you to put eyelashes coming out to the left. You can put as many as you want, or as little as you want, totally up to you. Okay. I'm going to go up here. I'm sure all the kids are already done, and I'm sitting here like, <laughs> taking so long. Everybody goes at different paces. If you've been to the studio, you know that Jenna can probably do three paintings in the same time as I can do I could do one. I mean, I'm like a slow poke. And you know what? It's okay. Even adults, everybody does goes their own pace. So when it comes to the hair, I was just kind of doing the little, little streaks. Same thing up here. And inside, I was all I was doing was like sh making streaks, like ever so often.
keep it simple. And finally, I just made a little bit of a lighter gray. And I just kind of made a smaller circle in the nose. You probably can't see that. I should make it a little lighter for you. All right, hope you can see that. So when you get to the end, you can see that this color palette's different. This is for the older kids, the younger kids. If you're, if you're happy with it, awesome. If you want to go back and change some stuff around, I would wait until this is all dry, um, only because of the black. But I'm going to do it because I can't exactly wait, you know have you guys waiting here but if you want to get a little bit brighter with the hair like my my hair here wasn't as bright so I just made a little bit of a brighter pink and I went it back into it you can kind of there's you know it's up to you when you're done you can go have dinner have a snack come back to it If you want your whole entire unicorn to be a different color, you can come back and do that. If you want to put eyeshadow on, on your unicorn, that's pretty cool. If you want to go back with white, sometimes you can't see it. Like for some reason, mine keeps on, you can't really see it. So I'm gonna make my, my white a little bit more intense. So the end's fun because you can go back and kind of fix some stuff up and, you know, kind of get into it as much as you want. You can go around and adjust things and it's my favorite part at the end because you can, you're just kind of adjusting everything and balancing everything all out and stuff. So, all right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, um, yeah, just have patience and keep practicing. And, you know, if, if you get better every time you do a painting, then every painting's worthwhile. You're not going to love everything you do. Some things you'll love more than others. And just know that every time you paint, you get better and better. So if we started from the beginning and did this painting all over again, it would be completely different because you'd know what to expect. So, um... If you have any questions, you can contact us anytime through email, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can message us. You can call us. Um, we're always around to answer your questions. And I'm really looking forward to painting with everybody again. And I miss everybody so much. And uh, happy painting, guys. Bye.